stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. Carver got what was coming, but just look at him. It takes a fucking monster to do that. Kenny and Carver deserved each other. Both crazy pieces of shit. No good to anyone. The world is better without them. You're right. Kenny was a monster. That's why he had to go. Yeah, I don't know. Kenny... Let's get out of here. Never want to look Kenny, at sick to me, body again. To me, Kenny just seems here, take a look. out of line. I've got the little goofball. I'll never get used to this. I just don't have that motherly instinct you've got. Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stab. Oh man. That's no fun. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled, like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca can Oops. see you two together. You guys don't even need me. I just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. <laughs> as long as we have that, we'll be okay. Story. <laughs> Hey, now that I think of it earlier, 
like episode one, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. Whoa there, Clem. Yep. It's just me. That's what I thought. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. I failed him. It's my fault. I just couldn't do nothing. If there was a chance he could survive... It's not your fault. You did what any good mother would do. At least you have something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now... You're... Hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I could maybe find some others. Town or something. We all have to fit in somewhere, right? Just because it didn't work out with us doesn't mean you won't find happiness somewhere else. Don't stop looking. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping Ripley. me, guiding me. He's That's still sad. with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay. I think she would. I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Those good people you mentioned before, the ones you said would be out there, well... There's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are definitely good people there. I'm sure they'll take you in. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Mm. You're going to I think be she'll okay. be all right. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. She's at least giving her advice, you know, Ava giving Clementine advice. Man, Lee and Clementine. That's, That's a going. great story. There's things Season I have to stay one. alive to do. Watch that. It's great. So, what do you think? Watching this little girl grow I think up. I'm getting better. 
I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... Sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. At least I never gave up on him. I'm sure as hell not gonna start now. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You wanna know where the boy is? Oh, boy. Okay. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Well, what happened to him? Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I don't think he would. Not right now, anyway. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now... Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors, you better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, 
Right back at you. You all good? Yeah. We're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Straight up killed the dude. I don't think Javi would do that. I mean, there has to be another way to find out where AJ is. There's a town full of fucking people. Right? Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, Clem. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we yeah. going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're going to need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the I rest of I think that would be a great move. I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. It's not deep, it's just bled a lot. Besides, it's already taken care of. Clementine sewed me up back at the doctor's. You still didn't answer my question. What happened? He got stabbed, okay? By one of the guards. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. 
Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what dad's going to be thinking. Uh... Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit. I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going <clears throat> to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Could you do me a favor and stop showing off for everybody? You're tough, okay? You can handle a lot of shit. You don't have to prove it all the goddamn time. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you, but you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. Okay. I'm leaving. I wouldn't want to be around me right now either. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. <laughs>